What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So today I would like to talk about the ending of Red Dead Redemption 1 and the reasoning for why Edgar Ross and the federal government brought the US Army to kill John and his family. Now I know this is a 13 year old game and we all know the reasoning to why it happened but I want to take a bit of a more in-depth look and perspective of this. So without further ado, let's talk about John Marston's story. So John Marston's story as a bounty hunter started when Sadie Adler showed up at his new home he built in Beecher's Hope and Sadie got word that Micah Bell was spotted and she asked John for help to track him down. And eventually when John, Sadie and Charles tracked down Micah and his gang and avenged Arthur's death by killing Micah, the Pinkerton agents led by Edgar Ross were spying on John, Sadie and Charles when this all happened. Edgar Ross and the government followed John and Sadie and Charles back to Beecher's Hope and found the whereabouts of John's home. Since Edgar and his team saw John's capabilities of taking out his former gang members, Edgar and his team kidnapped John's family and forced John against his will to find Bill, Javier and Dutch. This is actually all the fault of Sadie Adler becoming a bounty hunter and influencing John to become a bounty hunter, but no offense to Sadie, she is still a very awesome character. But luckily for Sadie, she moved out of the United States and went to the continent of South America to continue being a bounty hunter there. If Sadie didn't leave to South America, she potentially would have been drafted with John to bounty hunt a ton of outlaws because of her bounty hunting skills. Also, Charles moved to Canada to live a new life which made him lucky because he could have been drafted as a bounty hunter to go after the former outlaws as well. So yeah, unfortunately, John stayed in America and made it easy for him to be tracked down in Beecher's Hope and is really close to Blackwater, which isn't a good thing because the Blackwater heist that turned into the Blackwater Massacre of 1899 is what really put the Vanderlyn gang on the map. Also, John escaping Sissica Island prison when Arthur and City helped break him out after the events of the San Denis bank heist going terribly wrong. None of this gets forgiven, and this is foreshadowed during the conversation with John and Bonnie in Red Dead Redemption 1. I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. Also, when John is nearly done with his job going after Dutch, another major foreshadow happens. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. What Dutch means by when I'm gone, they're gonna have to find another monster to justify their wages, means they won't stop at finding the remaining outlaws of the Wild West, even if these former outlaws are no longer bad and have reformed. The US federal government at this time period were still looking for work to fight crime, especially if the West had nearly been tamed, since they also want to make sure the money is still being made for the US government. The US federal government was sweeping in from the civilized East and was trying to civilize more of the untamed, dying Wild West. The state of New Austin in Red Dead Redemption is inspired by southwestern states and I believe it's based on one of the latest states to be formed in the early 20th century. One of them being Arizona and New Mexico which became an official state by the year 1912 which is actually about a year after the events of Red Dead Redemption 1 being set in the year 1911. People also say that New Austin is based a little bit on Texas because of Austin, Texas and has a ton of desert but I think it's definitely a combination of these three US states, Arizona, New Mexico and Texas. 
But yeah, a majority of John's bounty hunting mission being set in the new Austin region in Red Dead Redemption's time period 1911 is because the US government is very much focused on that area to claim the land for the US government and make it an official state. And of course, when John was useless to the US government, they just sent him back to go be with his family for the last few days of his life. And of course, they eventually send in the US Army to kill John and his family since they don't forgive the outlaws of the Wild West and are just on a major manhunt to eradicate the history of the outlaws of the Wild West because they don't think they are worthy of civilization. The US government thinks of former outlaws as ghosts and just need to be casted away. Listen to this foreshadow right here. We're more ghosts than people. So if that was the case, John and his family were considered more ghosts than people. It maybe would have been a better idea to move away from Beecher's Hope because look how close it is to the city of Blackwater. And like I said, the city of Blackwater is where the Vanderlyn gang really pushed their luck. A friend of mine asked me a what if situation. He said, what if John and his family moved out of Beecher's Hope and moved to the McFarlands Ranch? It would have been a nice home and definitely the McFarlands would probably be very welcoming to the Marston family. But it would actually make a ton of more problems for the McFarlands because the US federal government would have raided the McFarland Ranch and possibly tried to kill John and his family and potentially the McFarlands for being affiliated with the Marstons. Also, my friend asked, what if John and his family moved out of America to Mexico? Abraham Reyes did welcome John to stay in Mexico after John helped the rebels defeat Colonel Allende's oppressive regime. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. I trust you will join us in riding on the capital. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Well, travel safely, amigo. Vamos. So what would happen if John and his family went to find Abraham in Mexico and Abraham promised John and his family a nice Mexican countryside farmhouse? There's also a scary what if Abraham turned on John too because Abraham is said to be no better than Colonel Allende when he eventually has control over Mexico. So in a way, John and his family moving to Mexico could have been a survival gamble to get away from the US government because you never know what Abraham's government would have done to John and his family. But potentially, Abraham would have been a safer bet since Abraham likes John more than Edgar Ross liking John. But also, then again, it's scary because John did play both sides in that Mexican Revolutionary War and it's a what if Abraham does the same thing by sending his men to wipe out John and his family like what the US government did at Beecher's Hope. But anyways guys, this is the story of why Edgar Ross killed John Marston and the reasoning was to spread civilization and eradicate the ghosts of the Wild West and leave them all in the past and planning the future of making America to what it is today, the most powerful nation in the world and this Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay trailer says it very well. Listen here. In the late 1800s, America was evolving on its way to becoming the most powerful country in the world. World. New immigrants arrived, thriving outposts became towns, and civilization was spreading rapidly into the huge, wild, and lawless frontier. But anyways guys, I really hoped you all enjoyed this lore video for Red Dead Redemption's story. Please do drop a like if you really enjoyed, and if you're a Red Dead Redemption fan, consider subscribing to my channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. Red Dead.